Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. Sounds really stinking weird to say that. In the last episode, we woke up in an unfamiliar town in an unfamiliar body, more or less, because we have lost all of our memories. All we know is that our name is Robin, and we are a kick-butt tactician and mage. In this episode, we are traveling along with the shepherds, Crom, Lissa, and Frederick, and we are sort of joining them in their quest to protect the country of Ulysses. So, now that all that's settled, let's go ahead and see where life is taking us now. Before we do that, you can see there's a menu option. We could open that up. We can't actually do anything here for the time being. Just wanted to let you know in case you were wondering why I wasn't showing it off. As for the survey, it does not ask you questions like in a survey for uh, use later in a Family Feud episode. It shows you a zoomed out version of the map. Okay, kind of cool. But for now, we're going to go ahead and begin the new chapter. Every episode is going to be a new chapter, so hopefully it will be decently length every time. Chapter 1, Unwelcome Change. I hope they're not talking about me. I told you, it's getting dark already. <laughs> and now there are bugs out. Noisy, disgusting bugs that buzz around and crawl over you and bite you and... <laughs> oh, come on now, Lissa. Hardship builds character. Want to help me gather firewood? <laughs> Yuck! I think I swallowed it. I'll pass on finding firewood, thanks. I think I've built quite enough character for one day. Hmm. You should probably think about food. I don't know about you, but I'm starving. Well, I should think a little hunting and gathering is in order. Now, who wants to clear a campsite? It's been too long since I last had a bear meat. Delicious. What's wrong, Lissa? Dig in. Pass! Gods, couldn't you spare us an animal normal people eat for once? I mean, come on, who eats bear? You're meddling with the food chain. Oh, poor Winnie the Pooh. Right, Robin? Uh, Robin? I suppose a person would enjoy just about anything after not eating for days. <laughs> just eat it, Lissa. Meat is meat. What? Since when does meat smell like old boots? Wait, I take it back. Boots smell better. Right. Every experience makes us stronger, milady. Even those we don't enjoy. Really? Then why don't I see you eating, Frederick? Me? Oh, well, I'm not hungry. I, I had a large lunch, yes, quite. Hey. Yeah, right. <clears throat> huh? <sighs> What's wrong, big brother? Forgive me. I didn't mean to wake you, but something is amiss. Huh? Define something. <sighs> I'm not sure. I think I'll have a look around. <clears throat> not alone you won't. I'm coming too. <laughs> Thanks, Lissa. sure is dark and quiet. Where did the birds go? Something is wrong here. Ah! 
Drum! Gods, what? Uh, what is this madness? Lissa, stay close! Lissa, run! Huh? I mean it, go! <laughs> Stand back. Quite an entrance. What's your name? My lord, my lady, are you hurt? Frederick, Robin! Are such horrific creatures commonplace in these lands? No. They're not from Ulysses, I promise you that. No one is injured then. Thank the gods. Mm -hmm. Thank the masked man who saved me. If it wasn't for him, I'd be... Hey, where'd they go? Right. We can worry about him later. After we put these things to the blade. Eyes open now. We know nothing about this enemy. Yes. Route the enemy. We're dealing with something entirely new. These are not regular soldiers. These are some sort of beast, but the rules are still the same. Are those right. abandoned forts? I see. Then we should take shelter in them whenever possible. No doubt they will offer distinct advantages in battle. So the forts actually heal you after every turn. If you want to make your way into them and just have the enemies come to you, it'll be rather useful because they will go ahead and heal you. Uh, do they also increase defense some terrain like forests and mountains will boost units defense and ability to evade okay that's also really nice some classes cannot move through certain types of terrain so you got to keep that in mind i believe frederick uh no he could uh go through woods and in fire emblem heroes uh characters that ride on horses cannot go through uh trees which is kind of unfortunate so uh you can still do it in this game but it's, uh, you have much limited space on how much you can walk, which is kind of lame, but whatever. Uh, Kron could make it into this, uh, fort right now, so we're gonna have him stand in there, and he could attack this guy at the same time. This is the Risen. It's an axe user, but more importantly, he's a stinking zombie! What the fruit is that all about? Get a little bit more experience. A leader must never rest, never surrender, and most of all, never stop learning. 
Gain 24 experience points. Very, very nice. Uh, we do have another little sparkly thing in there. Part of me wants to uh, give it to Robin, but the other part of me kind of wants to have her pair up with Krom right here. Uh, there's only two enemies. Is there only two enemies? Uh, no, there's even more on the way. Okay, so... Maybe we'll have a chance later. So, Robin can actually not only attack from uh, two squares away, she can also attack diagonally, which is really nice. So, because of this, if I was attacking from here or here, I wouldn't be paired up with Krom. But because of this, I could get the stat boost on top of it. Even if it isn't necessary to have Krom here to help me with this battle, it's still very important to have characters standing next to each other. We'll get into that later, but just know that you want to keep doing that as often as possible. Robin gets our first level up. Uh, so, you can see that her stats are going up like that. As you can see... My Robin stats might be a bit different from the character that you made. When you start the game up, not only do you get to customize the character to be male or female, you could just, uh, change their body type, hair color, hairstyle, and all that jazz. You could also choose what their main stats are. For Robin, I made her really good with magic attacks, but really bad with physical attacks. I forgot to mention in the last episode, but she does have a bronze sword, which Krom mentioned, so I guess at least someone did. She could use physical attacks if you want her to, but for me, I never use... Uh, physical attacks with Robin. I really just like to stick with uh, magic attacks. So uh, that's just how I play. If you want to play differently, there's no nothing wrong with that. Just go ahead and do whatever you like best. As for me, I like using a lot of good magic attacks, but I also don't like getting killed. So I uh, want to make sure my defense and HP uh, stay the same. As for getting killed in general, so you may have seen the last episode, my difficulty was set to easy and uh, casual and all that jazz. So there's different difficulties you could choose, but then there's also casual mode and classic mode. Every Fire Emblem game before this had a little feature in which if your characters died, they were gone for good. They never came back. So they were gone from the story entirely, or if it was like a main character, you would just get a game over, you would not be able to progress the story. I don't want to do that. I'm sorry if that is... Uh, I'm sorry if that's not good on my credibility as a good gamer or anything like that, or a true Fire Emblem fan. I have not been with the series from the beginning. Like I said, I'm not even going to pretend like I'm a Fire Emblem fan from like the very beginning. I got into it with Awakening, and I'm also a filthy casual and really terrible at uh, keeping people alive, especially with my first time around. So for the sake of this LP, I just want to not have everyone die and also just sort of want to get through the game and whatnot. So for that reason, I'm playing on filthy casual mode. But with someone like this character on our side, maybe we wouldn't even need filthy casual mode because she kicks major booty. Captain Crom, wait, I'm coming. Ah, I knew I should have. I knew I shouldn't have left them. All right, yeah, ash faced freaks. Which one of you wants to try my lance on for size first? I know just the spot for it. Shoves right up your. Hold. Milady. Hmm? Life may be long, but attraction is fleeting. Would you leave me in your sweet dust? Leave war to the warriors, dear bird. A beauty such as you need wage only love. What in the... The heck are you? Oh. Is the lady intrigued? Of course you are, it's only natural. I am a myth of legend. I am a myth and legend. I am he who strides large across history's greatest stage. The man who puts the arch in archer. The, my name, dear lady, is Vi... Sorry, Ruffles. No time for this. Onward! Wait! Viron! It's Viron! Wait, where are you going? Pray, at least tell me your name. I'm Sully. And I'm a shepherd. Yes, yes. Sully, how divine. A starkly beautiful name, as befits its owner, truly. Will you marry me, my dearest Sully? Hmm. Will I what now? Oh, wait. I get it. This is a joke, and when I put my boot through your face, that's the punchline. Actually, it's the kick line. Ravishing. I realize my manly figure and noble bearing can be overwhelming. Tis common. So please don't feel pressure to answer right. Ah, how's this for an answer? Oh, goodness, but those shapely legs certainly can kick, can't they? Please, my lady, allow me to accompany you at least. Mine is a cold, empty world without you. I shall be your most willing servant, and you, in turn, will give my life purpose. <sighs> Fine. Anything to shut you up. What? Stop staring at me like that. 
So, we aren't going to be stuck with just these four characters throughout the entire game. The Shepherds are made up of quite a bit of people, actually. Uh, and sometimes they'll just appear out of the woodworks. This is Sully and Viron. Uh, I don't think Viron is a member of the Shepherds, though. He's just sort of tagging along for the ride. Though, I guess he's on the hero side, so I can't complain too much. He is an archer, so he is sort of like Robin in which he attacks from afar, but through not magic, but with arrows. Goddesses and gentlemen, might I have your attention? I, as it happens, am an archer! The archest of archers, in fact. As such, I attack most effectively from a distance. So kindly keep me one step away from peril, if you would. The only difference between him and Robin is A, the magic thing, so he doesn't have elemental damage on his side, and B, Robin could at least attack uh, from one square away with her magic, but Viron cannot. Archers have to be away, have to be two squares away at all times, so that is kind of unfortunate, it makes him a bit weaker, but archers are still useful for other things. So right now we're going to have him uh, right over here. Uh, it can't, maybe it's because I can't go, oh, wait, no, because I need to be right here. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, we could attack right here, though, which is nice, so we'll go and do that. Attack diagonally. And... Kerblooey! Very, very nice. That experience. Sully, she is a horse rider? Is a cavalier rider? Is, it, is that the same thing as Frederick right now? You know, he's a great knight, excuse me. I really don't know what all the classes are called. I apologize if I'm just butchering everything and ruining everybody's experience. She rides a horse, she uses a lance, basically like Frederick. She's also super strong. Not much you need to know that you don't already know. So we're going to have her attack right next to Viron, so they can give each other some stat buffs. Though she really doesn't need it. <laughs> so up next we have... Lissa could get this, I guess. Uh, she still can't reach it. Lissa's reach is uh, very, very slow. She's slow in general, but going through the trees it's even worse, unfortunately. Uh, so let's see, with Frederick, we're going to have him... I don't want to get Frederick too far ahead on his own, because like most likely all the characters are going to go to him, and then he'll take him down one hit. So for that reason, I kind of just want to... Uh, we'll have Robin attack. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll have, have her attack this guy. Do that, get rid of him. Yes. It's sort of important to take turns in who you have defeat enemies, because... Uh, I want to make sure everyone gets ample level up, so I think I'm going to... I'm actually going to end the turn prematurely. Okay, they're going to go for Robin now, but we got paired up with Prom, so we could go ahead and attack him still. Uh, Viron's going to get his butt kicked right here, unfortunately, but uh, since he survives it, he still gets that little uh, bit of boost from uh, Sully, which is nice. Doesn't really matter, but okay. Uh, the boss is right here. I believe if you defeat the boss prematurely, then all the other enemies will disappear. Uh, so let's see. How about... I'm trying to see how I can pair this up. Uh, unfortunately, when you're diagonal from a character, it doesn't count as you being connected to them, so I won't get the boost. I could go right here, so I could get a Krom boost, which is nice. Let's see how this goes, get a little bit of damage, and Krom actually jumped in and finished off the enemy. That's incredibly helpful, and another example of how you're going to want to always keep characters together. Uh, let's see, we're going to have to do this. We need to get rid of this guy quickly, though, because I think one more attack to Viron is going to get him KO'd. Not going to want to have that happen. Krom, can you reach him? You can. And you can be connected to Viron in the same time, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we are good. Just always gotta plan out your moves like this and make sure that everyone gets ample level ups, but at the same time, make sure everyone uh, stays in a good position where they won't die. What is this, Lissa? We got ourselves. Whoa, did I just step on something? I hope I didn't break it. We got a seed of trust. Uh, that is build support between two paired units when possible. So I guess that uh, makes it more likely or just easier for characters to go grow closer to one another. Uh, Frederick, I will have you go over here. Or I guess it doesn't really matter, but as long as we're going downwards, it just, it's just good for progress sake. Paired up with Robin. Let's finish off this character. Very, very nice. A challenge. A challenge? Really, Frederick, for you? I don't think so. Uh, Robin can still move, though we can't reach the boss, so I guess we'll just move her right here in the fort and call it a day. 
This guy gets up here. He's going to attack Krom. I'm a risen chief. Okay, whatever. Uh, these guys don't actually talk. There's just a bunch of zombie-like characters, so... Not really sure what their whole dealio is. Probably gets healed, which is nice. Uh, how about we go put her right here? Uh, this guy's gonna take a bit of, of a few hits. How about... Okay, 2 HP right there. How about I do this? Because Robin's got enough, uh, experience this battle. I'm just gonna do that for Frederick. He gets a little bit of experience. Robin, I'm gonna move down here. Just so she's standing alongside everyone. And then Krom is going to stand right here. And he'll grow his bond with Robin. And finish off the enemy at the same time. And we finish off with a level up for Krom. Very, very nice. I can feel a huge difference. Stage complete. Robin and Krom are still the MVPs. It seems all the creatures are vanquished. This young man took care of the others. Um, I never got to thank you for before. So thank you. You were very brave. Thank you. You saved my sister's life. My name is Krom. Might I ask yours? You may call me Marth. Really? After the heroic king of old? You certainly fight like a hero. Where did you learn your way with the sword? No. I'm not here to talk about me. This world teeters at the brink of a horrific calamity. What you saw tonight was but a prelude. You have been warned. What's teetering where now? Hey, wait! <sighs> Not much for conversation, is he? Right. It appears his skills lie elsewhere. I wager we'll hear his name again. But for now, I'm more concerned about the capital. We should make haste. Those who've played Super Smash Brothers should have no problem knowing who Marth is. He is the protagonist from the first Fire Emblem game. I also apologize in advance, I'm not an expert on Fire Emblem story lore either. I obviously know who Marth is and whatnot, but I can't tell you too much that you wouldn't already know from playing Smash Brothers, so it's kind of unfortunate that... So I apologize for my ineptitude in some categories, but I hope you still enjoy this Let's Play regardless. Things have been looking pretty good so far, hopefully we can keep that up. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we are going to continue our trek through the forest and hopefully reach our destination. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.